Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another video and for today's video I have something very very exciting. I haven't really told this to anybody but um, a couple of weeks ago I saw that Sony was coming out with a new camera which was supposed to be the best content creation vlogging camera and so I was very intrigued and I have had my vlogging camera for quite some time. I have the Sony A5100 um, and I've been having this for a couple of years. I love it so much, but to be quite honest, the lens are pretty huge and I've had accidents with it and even had to get a replacement for it. So although this camera works really well for me and I love it for vlogging, I thought that I would just upgrade to the new camera by Sony and I'm really excited to today unbox it for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I did pre-order this camera around the time that it launched. I believe it launched on like May 26th for pre-orders and I ordered it around, I wanna say the 29th of May and I just received it um, here. So I ended up pre-ordering it from B&H Photo. I think that's what the company is called. We'll go ahead and leave a link for it down below. I'm not 100% sure if these are still in stock, um, but I did get it like I mentioned as a pre-order. So I did end up getting not only the camera, but also the vlogger kit, which I will go ahead and show you guys how that looks. And of course, at the end of the video, I'll give you guys a little demo as to the footage in the camera. If you guys are wondering what camera I'm using as of right now, I do have a Canon DSLR camera. This is the Rebel T5i. I've also had this for a couple of years and I love it for anything that has to do with filming my budgeting and planning videos. But that one is a little too big of course for vlogging. Um, so this camera is supposed to be the perfect, like I mentioned, content creation vlogger camera and it is called the Sony ZV-1. As you guys can see, it is quite different than my Sony 5100 and this isn't a comparison video so I'm not going to go into differences too too much. One of the main differences of, as of now would be that the screen pops open like this and the ZV-1 pops open to the side. So let's go ahead and start unboxing it. I just took it out of the box but I haven't actually taken out the camera. So let's go ahead and take a look um, and I will also show you guys the vlogger kit which looks like this. This has the shooting with wireless remote commander and a memory card, a 64 gigabytes memory card. So that's kind of how that looks and I will be using that today. I'm actually going out and vlogging so that's kind of a perfect thing. So in the box you get of course the camera right here. You get the battery right here. I also got extra battery just because with the vlogging I always like to have extra batteries um, you get the cord and then you get this little fluffy thing which which I'm not sure what it's called but let's see so all of this comes in the camera box and this is supposed to be I believe for, for better sound capturing it looks, looks a little funky but that's that and definitely <laughs> a little messy so now that I have this here. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Ooh, I, I don't know. I'm so it definitely it has like that matte kind of feel to it. Definitely different than my A5100. I'm going to bring the brightness down just a little bit so that you guys can see it a little bit better. But this is how that looks right here really crisp and new. I'll probably end up buying some sort of not only case but also like a screen protector for this. That's what I did for my last one. This is how it looks. Really cute. Um, so the reason this is like the perfect camera from content creators or so they have said is because it not only has your on and off and mode buttons but it also has a button that will get you to automatically start recording videos. So now what I want to do is let's go ahead and here. I hope it has some battery. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on. So it's. So I'm just going to quickly set it up. Okay, so I finished setting it up, and this is how long the lenses go for, which. Let's just, let's just quickly give a comparison. It is definitely much longer than my older vlogging camera, but once you turn it off, it is so, so compact. 
and I think very perfect for just putting in your purse and taking it with you on a vlogging day. I'm also going to quickly see, okay, so to put this, we got a, I think it might be, okay, so like this, and this is how this will look. All right, so I'm going to take a couple of demo clips in this camera with both my Sony a5100 as well as with my new ZV-1 and just give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison as to how the images look because I know that a bunch of people like myself have the Sony A5100 but all in all I really love how it looks I love how it feels and I, I don't know why I really love that it has this I just feel like it will capture the sound so much better instead of picking up every single thing going on in the background um, so yes let's go ahead and get on Okay, so now that I have that open, I think I am good to go on to opening the vlogger kit. Like I mentioned, it comes with this little tripod, which also works out as a shooting tripod that you can connect to wirelessly. So it is the shooting with wireless remote commander, like I mentioned. So I'm going to... You get your little camera grip pairing guide. And inside, you get... SD card which I will be putting in my camera really quick and then this thing let's see all right so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up you get a bunch a bunch of instructions and the battery for it as well as a little pouch and this is how it will look um, as of now, you guys probably don't know this, but I use the Manfrotto tripod for vlogging. So it is very comparable in size, I think, to this. And I really would like to see how this works. So up next, like I mentioned, I'm going to be putting in the SD card in my camera and kind of demo it out for you guys. So I'll take footage of just the camera by itself, as well as footage of me using this. And I will go ahead and let you guys know. So yeah, this is so perfect. Yeah, it works press this button and adjust this to move it around and you can even press the movie little button instead of you having to press it on the camera which I think it's very convenient so I will go ahead and like I mentioned take some demo videos and sure do hope that you guys enjoyed this video so here is a little comparison video of the ZV-1 and A5100. As you guys can see, my new camera is on the left and my old camera is on the right. Off the bat, I can tell you that it is very zoomed in, a lot more zoomed in than the other one that I have. Another thing that I didn't really mention in the video like me unboxing it because i hadn't realized the focus on this camera is amazing it will literally focus on any little thing that you put in front of it no matter how many things are in the back another thing that you guys can tell by the clips is that my new camera is a lot brighter than my older camera and here i'm just going out so that you can see kind of like the whole view of my sister um because like i mentioned the new camera is a lot more zoomed in once i start recording which i'm not 100 percent sure if i love that but all in all i'm really happy with my new camera if you guys did enjoy this video, please do not forget to give this a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. Hopefully, I will get to see you guys on my next video. Let me know if you guys would like to see a more in-depth comparison as to the Sony A5100 and my new Sony ZV-1 camera. Bye guys!